हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टुडे वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू कैम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट द लेटेस्ट पेपर फ्रॉम अक्टूबर 2023 सो दिस इज पेपर वन एंड यू कैन नॉट यूज कैलकुलेटर इन दैट सो कैलकुलेटर्स आर नॉट अलाउड इन दिस पेपर बट यू कैन यूज कॉम्पासिस प्रोटेक्टर ट्रेसिंग पेपर दिस इज ऑप्शनल इफ यू नीड यू कैन यूज इट and this is paper 1 so the time is 45 minutes to complete this paper so let's start let's see the first question that we have here round 3.47 to the nearest whole number now 3.47 always whenever you see uh, the whole number is this is decimal part here this is whole part so we need to have only the whole part so this number uh to the right of the whole number is 4 which is less than 5 so we just going to make it zero so answer is going to be 3 for this one right and uh, the other one <coughs> number 2 calculate 5 over 2 lots of 8 so meaning 5 over 2 times 8 right so 2 uh, or you can directly multiply 5 times 2 is 40 40 over 2 half of 40 is 20 so final answer is going to be 20 right then we have a number 3 write the fraction 15 over 25 in its simplest form so while writing in the simplest form you are going to divide the both the numerator and denominator by same number so as there is we can see 5 both are divisible 5 by 5 so i am going to divide it by 5 So five times three and five times five. Now no further simplification is possible. So three over five is the final answer, right? Number four. Here are some points marked on the coordinate grid. You see these points here. Uh, write a letter of all the points that are closer to x-axis than they are to the y-axis. so which one is close to x axis this this is x axis here then y axis right so always remember guys you need to underline the keyword so you don't miss anything so if i see this a point a point is closer to you see here uh, a y axis so a is not the answer b b is also closer to y this is 1 2 3 4 squares and here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 squares and uh, now let's see uh, c if you see c is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 uh, units from y axis but here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 units here so c is one answer he said write all the points okay now let's see d now d is at equal distance both sides and same c and e e is also away from y but is closer to x axis so c and e is the final answer right now number 5 complete these statements uh, we have negative 16 and negative 5 so both are having same uh, sign so we just add and keep the sign it's 21 so negative 21 right remember when you have same sign either it's positive or it's negative you are going to add and keep the same sign now here this one is 16 is negative and 5 is positive now they are different so we will subtract here 16 minus 5 it's 11 and then you keep the sign of the greater number the greater number is 16 and it has sign of negative so it will be negative 11 right now use protractor to uh, and ruler to draw an angle of 135 so for that you can draw any line <coughs> sorry i don't have a ruler right now here i'm just using it so draw any line like this right so let's say this is the initial point okay so you put your protractor this you see uh, using protractor is also you need to be careful this is the initial point here where this line crosses so put this point here on the top on the dot that you have made and then now this is your baseline okay so there are two kind of readings here <coughs> you see 
uh, 10, 20, 30 like this and this is 180, 70. So this reading is decreasing the upper one. So you are going to use the lower one 0, 10, 20, 30 until 130 here and 135 is in the middle this bigger line. Just put dot there then you join with the initial point here. So then this your angle is 135 degrees okay <clears throat> now number seven write three different prime numbers three different prime numbers in the boxes to complete the statement so now i will start writing the prime numbers one one is not a prime number three five seven then 11 and then 13 okay so we need the sum is 23 so if i take one number 13 let's say i'm taking 13 so 23 minus 13 we have 10 so we can take one number 13 other two that makes sum of 10 3 and 7 so 3 7 and 10 gives you answer 23 you may have different answer also it depends what number you are going to take right i hope you are guys guys are understanding everything if this video is helpful please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and uh, you will get benefit in these papers that i am doing on these papers uh, so that you can learn how to manage the space on your paper <coughs> now number eight Question number 8. Here is a square drawn on a coordinate grid. You see A, B, C, D is a square. A square is translated the new coordinate of D, R, negative 4 and 2. So, you can use tracing paper for that. That will make your work very easy. So, let me uh, draw this the square here. So, I will write down here this is A b c and d so he said we are given that a uh, new coordinate of point d is negative 4 and 2 uh, this point d is at negative 4 2 negative 4 is here and 2 is here so man means this d point came up here like this you see this d point came at this point so the question is uh, what is the new coordinate of point b point b's new coordinate is this one here so let's see what is that point this here so that point is a uh, negative 1 and 5 so it's negative 1 and 5 is the final answer right <coughs> easy now the next number 9 draw a ring around all the calculations that are equivalent to uh, 6 times 25 times 2 plus so this is one calculation plus 7 is there so if you see here in the first calculation we will do one by one the first one we have 7 there the other one is 3 times 50 so this is 3 if I make this 25 times 2 it is 50 but this is 6 so this is not the answer uh, so this is out of the option now then next one is 7 7 then see here 25 times 2 it is 60 uh, sorry 50 50 times 6 so we have won this answer right here the other one is uh, uh, 100 times 3 so 7 is already there 7 100 100 how will make it 100 times 3 if I make it 25 times 2 is 50 50 times 6 it is 300 and this is also 300 so this is also one of the options and this is not because we don't have uh, 7 there right 6 times 25 times 2 and this one is giving you 9 so that is not the answer okay now number 10 here are four calculations uh, 17.2 times 4 17.09 times 4 1.72 times 39 uh, 1.7 times 39 so draw a ring around the calculation that gives you the largest answer so the largest answer if you see here this is 17.20 and this is 17.09 so out of this this one is going to be greater so here is 17 172 
times 39. So 39 times 72, it's going to give you lesser answer than this one. So the biggest answer is going to be this one here, right? So this is 39. This is also 39. So we have 70 and 72, but this is going to be the greater one, right? Now number 11, here is a sketch of a cube, uh, not to the scale. So don't measure the sides. The area of one face is 9 centimeter square. Area of one face is talking about one face. So, uh, calculate the total surface area of the cube. We are looking for the total surface area of the cube. So, now uh, if we know that the area of the uh, square is uh, area of square is always L squared side times side which is given to us 9 centimeter square. So, one side is going to be 9 uh, square root of 9 which is 3 centimeters right. So, one side is uh, 3 centimeters. So, surface area, the formula of surface area, total surface area of cube, total surface area of the cube, the formula is 6 times because we have 6 faces and one face is L squared. So, it is going to be 6 times 3 squared is 9, 9 times 54. Okay, just realized we, there is no need to do this. So, you are given area of one face is 9. So, you can just multiply it by 6 because there are 6 faces. So, 54 centimeter square is going to be the final answer, right? Now, number 12, here is set of angles. You have these angles. Draw a ring around 3 angles that add together to make a straight line. So, if it is a straight line, so that means whatever number of the angle, the sum is going to be 180 degrees. So, we are looking for 3 angles that add up to 180. So, this is 100, if we get 180, so 30, 45 and 35, 45 plus 35, this is 80. So, 100 plus 45 plus 35 gives you 180. Number 13, the perimeter P of an equilateral triangle uh, with the side length S is written as this uh, equilateral triangle. Uh, so, S, S and S, right. Find the value of P if S is 12. So, S is 12. So, that means that there are 3 sides divided by 3. So, one side is going to be 4 centimeters, right. So, this is 4 centimeter. Now, 2 identical. Identical means same. The equilateral triangles are joined together. So, these triangles are joined together to make a new shape. Draw a ring around. Make sure that you ring. Do not tick this. Draw a ring around the correct expression for the perimeter D of the new shape. So, one side is S. This is S. This is S. This is S. Now, the perimeter is sum of all the sides. So, S plus S plus S plus S four times. So, we have this one here. I will put put ring over here. You see these questions are very easy. You do not even know, need like uh, any formula. It is just the basic knowledge that you require for this one. Now number 14. Here are 4 digit cards. You see 4 digit cards. Use all 4 digit cards to complete the boxes to create the calculation with the smallest possible whole number answer. So, we need a smallest possible answer. So, that means when we there is a division sign. So, we should always take the bigger number here that will divide and then we are left with 3, 4 and 5. So, 3, 4 and 5 we need to have a number that divides 6 also because we are looking for a whole number right. So, a number that divides 6 um, is the one that divides uh, both uh, by divisible by both 2 and 3. So, by 2 we need to have an even number. So, even number meaning that 4 should be in the end. 4 should be in the end then we have 3 and 4 we can have it anywhere. Uh, Let us say 3, 4, no 4, 4 we cannot use. 4, uh, 4 we have used here. So, we are left with 3 and 5. So, 354 or 
it can be 534 now there are two options coming here but this number is bigger so when you divide bigger number by 6 you are going to get big answer so we will leave this option so we are left with this number 354 and 6 goes here to give you the uh, the whole number the digit complete the box to create the calculation with the smallest possible whole number right so that's it for this one now number 15 here are five cards uh, with the white and gray shape drawn on them so this is gray white gray white and white Mia picks one card at random one card only they are five cards letter a b c describes these different events they are explained here mia picks a card with the gray shape gray shape we have triangle and uh, this uh, uh, circle right mia picks card with white shape mia picks card with a square a b c write that the probability we are looking for the probability so for the a probability of a a is mia picks card with gray shape we have two gray shapes here two out of how many five right so a is a belongs to a probability of a is two over five then b b picks card at random with white shape white shape we have one two three three white shapes out of five right so three over five and what is c now c mia picks card with a square how many squares we have only one square out of five so which one is smallest here one over five the largest is highest is 3 over 5 the other one is 2 over 5 sorry sorry i made mistake write the events a b c we need to write a b c so uh, here instead of 5 1 over 5 we need to write down here c uh, 2 over 5 is a and this should be c so you need to write down a b c in this box sorry again uh, this is b C A B is the answer. Okay. Now Pere picks one card at random. Tick all the pairs of events that mutually exclusive. Uh, mutually exclusive. Now what are mutually exclusive? Mutually exclusive are the event, the simple definition uh, that cannot happen at same time. Okay. So these two events cannot happen at same time. So event one we have Pere picks white shape, Pere picks gray shape. So white and gray they are two different events and they cannot happen together. So this is mutually exclusive. Pere picks a triangle and gray. So triangle can also be gray. So that's not possible. Pere picks circle and triangle. Circle and triangle are two different things. They are not going to happen at same time. Pere picks square and white shape. Square can be white. We have a white square here. So that's not in the option, right? Now let's move to the next question here. Number 16, we have a question. Uh, baby Gabriela's length is measured every two months. Here is the line graph showing her length. This is length and this is the age. 0 to 2 months, 2 to 4, 6 like this. Baby Gabriela is 78 centimeter long when she is 12 months old. Plot this information on the line graph. So 12 months is here and 78. So you see this is 70 here, 72, 74, 76, 78. So one box represents uh, 2 centimeters, right? Then you join this one, okay? So this is done. Now, uh, draw a ring around the age range when baby Gabriel grew the most. So grew the most, is if you see, this is age. So we are looking, looking for the steepest graph. If you see the steepest part is this one from 0 to 2 month, this one here. So 0 to 2 month is going to be the uh, most part that when she grew the most, right? So that's it for this video guys. The remaining question we will do in the next part. I hope you guys understood that and please, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. I will wait for your feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much guys. Be blessed.